come to BAE Systems in Rochester in Kent to look at the latest head-up display technology, which has moved from pilots in the air to soldiers on the ground. So this is the new Q Warrior, and it'll take some of that display technology and put it onto a soldier on the battlefield. Uh, so Paul Wright uh, from BAE Systems is going to help me put the helmet on and show me what it can do. Well, the display has a clear optic that allows a soldier to see through onto the battlefield, so both eyes can see the environment around. Uh, it displays the information in front of the uh, operator's eye. The information can be anything from uh, situational awareness data about uh, the positions of forces on the ground, even navigational information. It also has a camera system here that allows it to use infrared light to see in the dark. It has a tracking system so that the uh, soldier knows where he is and what direction he's pointing in, and a small second camera at the top there. The infrared camera which we've installed below the uh, Q Warrior here allows the, uh, the operators to actually see in the dark. Unlike night vision goggles, which can only see at certain times of the, uh, the moon phase, because they have to uh, amplify light, the infrared camera works on heat signals and infrared light. So every night of the year, the infrared camera will work. So it feeds the image through into the Q Warrior system, allowing somebody to enter a dark room, the hold of a ship, etc., and be able to see in almost perfect clarity what's going off around them. So as I look around with the helmet on, I can see uh, moving in front of my eyes, there's coloured uh, numbers showing the grid, the, uh, the direction I'm looking at. There's also sort of marked points on the wall that are marked and they move as I, change, as I move my head. And there's a little map showing exactly where those points are. So I know that, for example, if I turn my head to the left, I can see there's a purple point over on that wall. And as I move my head, it, the point stays there and moves around my field of vision. So Paul, all this information I can see in front of me, what sort of things might this be on the battlefield? We're displaying standard NATO codes there that would show you red forces and blue forces, which are enemy forces and friendly forces, uh, different symbols for aircraft, uh, agreed navigational symbols that everybody will understand, uh, information about refueling vehicles coming into your place. There's also all the navigational information. Also, it, you could have, even have information about aircraft that are approaching shown. So they'll be up in the sky, and you'd see a symbol up in the sky overlaid where the aircraft is to tell you that it's one of your friendlies rather than an enemy aircraft. 